Across the country and here at home, as more patients head to the hospital with COVID-19, intensive care units are making do with what they have. At IU Health, the state's largest hospital system, masks and other personal protective equipment, or PPEs, are in very short supply. Those supplies, we, we do need to see them start to be delivered. So they have not been delivered yet? We have received supplies from the state uh, in small quantities, and we're told there are more behind, uh, behind that. Hospitals are also working to find more ventilators, collecting them from other clinics and outpatient surgery centers to be used in the intensive care unit for coronavirus patients. And they're getting creative so machines can be shared. Even things that are 3D printed, but essentially a, a split that would make one ventilator use for two patients possibly. Do you have a, a, a firm number on how many that you need or how many more you need at this point? We have a very firm number on what we have in inventory, and we have a firm number on how many we'll have ready to be used for patients over the next two weeks. Um, beyond that, it's our planning for what we actually see in terms of the prog progression of the disease. So I can't say today that we have enough ventilators. I don't know. We won't know until we see the progression of the disease. We also spoke with the president of the Indiana Hospital Association. Are Indiana hospitals adequately prepared for the potential surge in the coming weeks? I think we're as prepared as we can be. There's a lot about this virus that's new. Do I think we have enough uh, for some of the, the, you know, the more pessimistic uh, models? Uh, no, we're, you know, and, and I think uh, the federal government right now, and look at some of their actions, is doing, uh, taking a lot of steps to try to increase that supply. Hospitals hoping more of those supplies now get here. And doctors say the most important thing they need right now is for you to stay home. They can't stress enough the importance of staying out of the public. That way, that'll keep the spread down so they'll have enough hands, enough gloves, enough ventilators, enough everything that they need to treat the people who are sick. Back to you. All right, Dustin, thank you so much. Governor Eric Holcomb today seemed pretty excited about the number of Hoosiers stepping up to make masks and ventilators during this outbreak. Our Rich Van Wyke was at the news conference and joins us live tonight at 5 to explain what else the state is doing. Rich? Well, Scott, more than 100 new COVID cases confirmed overnight. Two additional deaths lost to disease. These numbers are discouraging. Behind them, today we found out there is some encouraging news. We've been hearing about the plight of health care workers and the lack of personal protection equipment they're having out there. Well, the Indiana National Guard, as it turns out, is back to work sorting out four or five truckloads of face masks, hoods, gloves, gowns, and other equipment. It was shipped over the last couple of days from the National Strategic Stockpile. We are in the process of putting that all together, picking it, getting it ready, and actually today are getting that out to some of our hospital systems, especially in local health departments that needed that. This is the second shipment to reach Indiana. Hospitals are also getting help from unlikely places. Remember high school, all the science labs and healthcare classes? Superintendent of Public Instruction, Jennifer McCormick. Our schools, whether it's science labs or career technical education, have signaled to us that we have gloves, we have masks, we have gowns. Where do you need them? So our team is working with the Emergency Operations Center to determine what that distribution looks like. According to the state health commissioner, some hospitals are in good enough shape right now that they didn't need their second shipment right away. But Dr. Box quickly pointed out that that could change at any time. Indiana is still very early, very early stages of its fight with COVID-19. Scott?